The Russian occupation troops are now actively reflexing to intensify their actions from Kremlin to Lyman. The forces and means there are concentrated not just not a little, but let's say, at first glance, enough to really intensify the offensive. In total, the biomass of the Russian troops in this area, is about 9,000 personnel, with more or less, but still tolerable manning units on equipment. But there is a nuance. In this sector, Russians have been suffering serious artillery losses for a week. That is, a full-fledged offensive has not begun and artillery for supply and support of the infantry assault action is decreasing day by day. And here, how not to recall the recent experience of the enemy in Vugaldar. After all, they gathered a wild crowd of units there too, not counting the private military company Patriot. And there too, in total, there were more than 9,000 disposable fighters in the first line and reserve. And the result, due to the lack of full artillery support and the proportional availability of ammunition, the attack on Vugaldar ended in a meat grinder for the Russian troops. And strange as it may sound, the enemy's criminal Lyman offensive, has not yet fully begun, but it already resembles the Vugaldar massacre. I do not know who commands the Russian grouping in the Vugaldar direction, but he does it in a moronic manner. Another convoy of Russians in the town of Nikolsk, from the direction of which they keep trying to break through to Vugaldar, with ammunition and personnel, was blown to bits by Ukrainian artillery. About 12 to 13 trucks were smashed and burned to the ground, a couple more armored vehicles additionally. As they say, burned on the spot, the number of liquidated occupants is specified. After some time, most likely there will be footage of this battle. They somehow very intricately play with death by flipping a coin, driving around in the zone of effective action of artillery, and even other means of destruction by the Afu. At the same time, they gather in columns that are clearly visible from afar. I understand that an order is an order, but this is not even Russian roulette anymore, this is some kind of seasonal lemming suicide. The Times writes that for every hundred meters of advance, the Russian army loses about 2,000 soldiers of course, we are talking about total losses, eliminated, wounded, prisoners, sick. Even if the publication exaggerated twice, from Bakhmut, which they have not taken so far and to Slavyansk about 45 kilometers. So just to reach the main fortification of Donbass, losing a thousand per hundred meters, they need to grind about half a million people. Well let it be for the whole front line. That is, to get to Slavyansk, to take Vogeldar, half a million. But even if the times exaggerated four times, 225,000. In this case the inverse positive mechanism begins to work. The greater the losses, the more mobilized, the worse their quality, the greater the losses. The cycle is closed, and the process repeats all over again, with even worse figures for Putin's army. What the hell kind of mobilization can help in this case? Should we conscript children and women? 